Hi guys, today we're going to revise over terminal velocity. So when an object moves through a fluid, be that a liquid or a gas, the object will experience a frictional drag force. The faster the object moves, the greater the drag force. So we've got our object here, it's moving in this direction uh, through the fluid, and it will experience a drag force in the opposite direction. Eventually, the force accelerating the object and the drag force become equal. The net resultant force becomes zero. By F equals MA, if F equals zero, then the acceleration A is also going to equal zero. The object no longer accelerates and reaches a constant terminal velocity. So here we've got a velocity time graph of an object going through a fluid. Now initially the object will accelerate only the driving force, so if it was a car that you've got a force going forwards we're going to call that drive and the air resistance or drag going backwards. So to begin with there's a constant gradient here, there is only one, one force really being experienced by the vehicle and that's a drive. Slowly though the drag force is going to increase and the rate of acceleration is going to become less and less and less till eventually there's a straight line here where the two forces have become balanced. Here's the velocity time graph for a man jumping out of an aeroplane and then releasing a parachute. So initially, just like the vehicle, he'll accelerate. Gravity is much greater than air resistance. But as he's falling, so as the man's falling, the air resistance gets greater and greater. And eventually the forces balance here, so his velocity becomes constant. It's not changing. He releases the parachute here and the air resistance becomes much greater than the force of gravity so that slows him down. He then reaches a new terminal velocity here where the force on the parachute is equal to the force on the uh, uh, sorry, on the on the force of gravity and then eventually lands. So let's go through it again. Cut falls out of the aeroplane, accelerates rapidly where the, there's a, the rate of change of acceleration gets less and less and less and eventually reaches terminal velocity here pulls the parachute, the force going up is much greater than the force going down, so he'll rapidly slow down, but eventually, again, gravity and air resistance, okay, the air resistance of the parachute will balance, and he'll, he'll uh, land at a much lower speed than if he was falling here, so that's why it's much safer, but the forces have balanced here, he reaches a new terminal velocity, then eventually lands. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. This is the subscribe. This is where you're going to do subscribes everywhere. Around and around and around. Bye.